broadcast tonight coming to you from New York City amid all the hustle and bustle of the streets of Manhattan. Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. Chris Weber is joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for James. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Now it's ended down to David Aldridge standing by for the sidelines. David? Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said, it's an honor, but he added, scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, getting blocked shots and things of that nature always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. DA, thank you. Just looking back, you played on a few Christmas days. What was your personal favorite? Well, I'll tell you, anytime you can beat uh, two Hall of Famers and, and a Hall of Fame coach, you know, that's a special time. So anytime you can beat Shaq, Kobe, and Phil Jackson is pretty special. And, mm -hmm. uh, I remember beating the Lakers on the road uh, a couple of times there uh, for Christmas. And uh, it's so special because it's the one day you know the basketball world is tuned into you. And you know everyone's at home playing with their train sets, their remote control cars, their dolls. And they're taking a little time to hang out with you. It's really cool playing on Christmas Day. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Thompson is out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's Looney in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Knicks, we've got Mitchell Robinson. Ellenson is out there with Knox. And it's Smith. And it's Dotson in at the two guard. And so assured, he can't give an inch of breathing room to Smith Jr. That's when he strikes. Ball, the bounce pass. Here's James. Knicks with the rebound. Here's Knox. The shot misses. Great D that time from James. Dishes the ball. Here's Looney. Pass to Thompson. Stolen by Ellenson. We play just over a minute here in the first. Some nice passing by New York here. Knox misses. And here's the Lakers. It's a three-point game. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Knicks team. And in their two matchups last season, they came up empty both times. Not really too shocking when you see how they fared overall. Here's Smith following the basket by Lonzo Ball. Here's Knox. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, G.A., uh, I mean, great look. High percentage shot. That's the efficiency you're looking to establish. Now, here's James. Buries the easy one. All James needs is just a little room. You got to go over the pick every time. Or else he's probably going to burn. Well, last season, LeBron James dealt with injuries. I mean, he ended up playing just 55 games. That's the fewest in his career. He's hoping he stays healthy this goal. Yep, it counts. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Stolen by Ellenson. Oh, and here we go. Knox has got it. The fast break chance. Knox. It's good on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Trailing by five. Kuzma can't get it to go. And throughout his career, Chris, no doubt here, LeBron known for his durability. Well, just two seasons ago, he played all 82 games with a deep playoff run. Now he's in his mid-30s. Age does come into question. Father Time is undefeated. But he'd love to stay on top as long as possible. And, yes, it's good. Knox has got six. 
Oh, he's got a role in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. Kuzma outside to the paint. Here's Thompson. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Well, Thompson makes terrific decisions. I mean, deep inside, finds a way to play to his strength. Smith with it, picked up by Kuzma. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks as New York retains possession. Now we get a chance to view the NBA leaders in assists. Ronzo Ball is second. His passing has been so terrific. You can see his unselfishness really rubbing off on the rest of the team. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Zubac is checked in for Robinson. Mike Muscala comes in for Henry Ellenson. Emmanuel Moutier is checked in for Damian Dotson. And it's Neil Aquina in for Smith. The Lakers also changing it up. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Reddick comes in for Thompson. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Ball. Nothing less than that kind of defense will cut it against him. That's just great work inside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And the GOAT conversation, LeBron has said his motivation is to surpass Michael Jordan as the greatest of all time. Greg, what do you think he needs to do to bolster his case? I think for the naysayers, the obvious answer is more rings. You look at the other numbers, including those eight consecutive finals appearances, LeBron is in the discussion. one misses and with LeBron James managing to extend his prime the pressure is on this Lakers organization to make the most of it yeah you're right Jay. I mean it's the kind of pressure you want though I mean getting those superstar players is the hard part finding that supporting cast that's the hard work part and the second free throw good out of player rejections in uh, the playoffs last year. In fact, the highest in three decades. Seems like tensions just with the officials are still escalating. Well, yeah, uh, the relationship between the players and the referees, uh, you know, it's always an ongoing process. And, and it's definitely getting better. But last year we had the uh, highest number of new referees uh, in the history of the NBA. And so you're going to have a growing pains when you have younger guys and, and understanding the culture of the league. But I like the way that we're going. And uh, some of those rejections were warranted. Some of them weren't. I just look at that year as, uh, that just happened. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to hold players and referees accountable to last season. I think we need a little bit more context before uh, we make a decision on player rejections and flagrants and things like that. Just a little more research. Now, here's Reddick. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Uh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. And good that time. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Rubio, the pass to Looney. Reddick is in the corner. There's the pass to LeBron. And again, the Lakers, no good. New York leading by six. Knox, the pass to Neely Kino. Back to Knox. Rubio with the rebound. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. Pass to James. Ingram outside. The dish to Reddick. 
fires it up. And Ingram with the basket on the assist from Reddick. Ingram spotting up and showing that that touch made him the second overall pick in 2016. Here's Knox. He's covered by Ingram. From deep three-point range. I love the defensive tenacity. James showing real hustle and energy on this end of the floor. And so the first quarter is in the books. Knicks lead by four. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch, no matter what's going on throughout the course of a game, uh, even when you're struggling at times or you're not shooting the ball particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. And we welcome you back to NBA action. A great tradition. Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. But well, it's part of their strategy coming in, no doubt. And, and there may not be that much their opponent can do about it. We've got Moutier. Knox out there with Randall. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Nila Kina in at the point. They're the group New York will start the second with. Uh, James strokes it well from there. I mean, his shot is cast right there. You got to respect it. Here's Nila Kina, covered by Rubio. Here's Knox. Here's Zubac. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Bounce pass Ingram. Over Randall. James, no good. Next have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's Nilakina. He's covered by Ingram. Here's Zubac. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Lakers trail. And finished off by LeBron. Uh, you got to stay on James in transition. If you give him room to run, he jumps all over. And four years at Villanova for Josh Hart. Won the title back in 2016. Uh, he just makes winning plays. Uh, hits perimeter shots. And the 30th pick in 2017, he has been solid. In the corner, it's James. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. And James simply one of the best dunkers in NBA history, I have to say. Highly creative in how he throws it down. Neely Kina passes to Moody. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Chris, you have been passionate about honoring those who blazed the trail for today's NBA, like the Globetrotters and the Wrens in the days before integration. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you think about what, what they've gone through off the court and on the court, and, and anyone, and regardless of color, nationality, of, of just paving the way for, uh, for me as a basketball player, uh, I want to say thank you. Let's just think about what Red Arbeck did. Uh, drafting the first African-American player, making uh, the first African-American player coach in uh, Bill Russell, who won the championship that year and leaving him uh, a good team. And if you look at organizations like the Black Fives who bring an awareness to the games, and, and you just want to understand your legacy uh, culturally. And that's why I have to, every time I see Mr. Bill Russell, Big O, or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I give him a big hug and a, and, and a wet kiss on the cheek because uh, I just thank them for not only advancing uh, the movement in sports, but culturally, uh, sports has always uh, sent a message uh, to the culture and society about how cool teammates work together and how you can overcome a problem uh, by working together. And so I really thank them for enduring uh, all of the hardships that they did so that we can uh, reap the benefits. So it, it's been awesome to be part of the league and be able to shape hands with those that have blazed trails for us. That is so admirable on your part. Here's Robinson. 
after the made shot from Clay Thompson. Here's Neela Kina. Robinson kicks to Dotson. Six on the shot clock. And to get open is Robinson. Dotson gets the bucket. Dotson's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. Lakers have gone five of six so far from the field in the second quarter. Ball, the pass to Looney. Trying to get open is Kuzma. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Neely Kina looking it over. Outside Robinson. He dishes it to Smith. Over ball. Smith no good. Lakers shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. Ball with it. 11 points for him in that last game again. Five on the clock. Pass to Hart. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Kuzma. Here's Looney. Pass to Kuzma. They shoot again, and it's good on the way in. Kuzma's got the lead up to two now for the Lakers. Well, you see how comfortable Kuzma is from there. I mean, he knows he has the size and touch needed to be effective. Kuzma pulls it in. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. And Thompson gets it to go. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. Over in the corner, Randall. The pass to Neely Kina. New York needs to get off a shot. Here's Dotson. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. Dotson's got a second bucket tonight. No, oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. 50 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Kuzma. Trying to get open is Thompson. It's not going to go for him. So New York will take it the other way. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Yeah, I mean, they had their chances. Competed deep into that game, but had a few lulls there that just kind of took them down. And those are the games that really hurt. I mean, you're playing well, the effort's there, and in the end, it still isn't enough. Here's Robinson. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Robinson's got his second basket. The Lakers have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Ball against Smith. Ball feeling it out a bit. Takes a three. Here's Kuzma. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And we are not going to halftime just yet. Officials signaling they are going to review the tape. And now that we've gotten a chance to see it in slow-mo, I think the ruling has to be that he did not beat the buzzer with that shot. And it looks like they got it right this time. No basket. The clock had expired while the ball was still in his hand. Yeah, and even if they don't show it, I know the refs are proud of themselves after a replay proves them right. They're like, see, we had it right all along. So, good call, fella. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. It's the Knicks. They're up by one. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. For the Knicks, the first quarter was pretty even. They were on a nice little roll in that opening period as they got their lead up as high as seven points. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. 
Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, their success was largely about second chance points. They crashed the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. I think it was their passing that's kept them in the game. You can see it in their assist numbers. They were very, very unselfish. The ball moving from side to side, guys making good cuts. It's enabled them to create a lot of chances. As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at James, what a contribution. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. The Lakers trail. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Lonzo Ball out there with Thompson. And it's Looney in at the center position. Just four to shoot. And Thompson gets it to go. And in Thompson's career, he hits well over 40% of his threes. That's remarkable consistency for Rain. And for all the drama surrounding Lonzo Ball's entrance into the NBA, one thing is for certain, he can play. And Lonzo will always have the media attention, but the fact is he is a very talented player. His playmaking and passing was as elite as advertised from day one. Starting to find his spots on how he can score for himself. But everything else with his game is what you'd want from an elite point guard. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. That's Mr. Robinson. Here's Knox. Covered by LeBron. Well, you know it was going to take some time for Kevin Knox, but Greg, at the end of last season, he began to show flashes of what he could do. You could almost see the game starting to slow down for him about halfway through the season. Consistency is something all rookies struggle with, but it hit Knox especially hard. Fortunately, that is something that passes with time. And the first one at the line is good. And Chris, with Dirk retiring, who now has the best fadeaway, you think, in the game from the post position? Uh, it's a man that stole his move. Now, he didn't need to steal it. He just added on to his game. He's, he's a great person. He's not a thief, but he uses that one-leg kick fadeaway, and he's the same height as Dirk. Oh, that's Kevin Durant, the best fadeaway in the game, period. Towns is developing a nice one, too. Oh, you know what? I love Towns' games inside, and what makes Towns so good is that he can fade away over the right shoulder. And you know why that makes it so tough? Because he can come over the left shoulder with a jump hook. Most guys with the best fadeaways, they have a counter that already gets you hung in on that counter, and then when you're thinking about that original move, bam, it hits you with the fadeaway. The Lakers with the ball. Following the score by New York, here's LeBron, and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. No one commands more attention from the defense, but LeBron knows how to beat it. I mean, he can do it in a variety of ways. And Muscala gets to Smith, and he lays it straight in. Smith's got seven points. That makes three in a row to start the second half. And the Lakers call time here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here.
And New York making a change here. Zubats is checked in. And then for Los Angeles. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for Kavon Looney. Reddick comes in for Thompson. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Lonzo Ball. And the basket by Rubio. Oh, man, you better appreciate the unselfishness. When Reddick sees an open teammate, as great of a shooter as he is, he's fast at getting him the ball. Now, here's Moutier. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Smith inside, covered by Rubio. Now the Lakers on the break. Rubio's got the ball from the arc. And there's Reddick. That's good on the assist by Rubio. Reddick's got the lead up to four now for Los Angeles. Reddick against Moutier. Zubac the pass to Smith. Shoots over Rubio. And the shot is long. Well, that's their first miss after hitting three in a row to start the half. I mean, I guess it had to happen sometime. And that one drops. I mean, the passing genius of LeBron coming to the surface. I mean, a look that only a few players in the league can make. Here's Smith following the basket by Kyle Kuzma. Back to Smith. Pass to Zubats. Here's Knox over LeBron. New York, no good that time either. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Reddick passes to Kuzma. Rebounded by Knox. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Ricky Rubio picks one up. The Knicks have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Randall's checked in for the Knicks. Nilakina comes in for Smith. He's off on the second. Randall finds Moutier. Here's Nilakina, covered by Reddit. Lock at six. Zubats the best to Knox. Buries it from three-point range. Knox has got 11. Okay, he has all the space he needs in this, so he's going to make that a lot more than he misses it. LeBron wishes to Ingram. It's rebounded by New York. There's 138 left in the third. Pass to Nilakina. Here's Knox, covered by Rubio. Knox misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. And James throws it down. And the way James dominates on the offensive end, making it look effortless tonight. Yeah, yeah. And, and at Utah, Kyle Kuzma restricted to more of a traditional power four role. Now the wide open NBA style has unleashed his game. Zubox the best to Knox. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on LeBron James. The Knicks have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. First one falls for him. a different look for New York. Robinson's checked in for Zubox. Henry Ellenson comes in for Randall. And Damian Dotson subbed in for Moutier. Good on both. Now James. 
He's got 13. There's 48 seconds left to play in the third. It's Reddick on the wing. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. And, and you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Lakers have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. And the pass to James. LeBron has doubled. Rubio finds Reddick. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. The Knicks have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Here's Knox. deep and no good on the last second attempt this time and we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break while we have the chance now folks let's go to our State Farm assist of the game and definitely deserving of the prize tonight how about the read he made here looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money Oh, beautiful feet. Always a luxury to have a big man who can see the whole thing. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. New York's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Robinson is out there with Ellenson, and it's Smith, and it's Knox in at the threesome. That's the five for New York right now. Here's Smith. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. And here's Ingram from the arc, the offensive rebound. Here's Thompson, and plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. New York called for the foul. Uh, I mean, that's his pump fake. I mean, it works for almost anybody, but his is just great. For a shooter like Thompson, I mean, it's doubly effective. And you look at the development of how Clay has attacked the rim over his career. What was once a weak spot for him has now become a strength as his finishing improves every year. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. free throw good from Thompson you know what Greg you're right thinking back to Thompson he had his early struggles at the rim and that's a distant memory for Clay now I mean he's dunking more often and with more force when he goes at the rim it has made him an even more complete shooting guard and so Thompson nails both of them Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Now, here is Smith. Passes it to Dotson. Back to Smith. Shot clock at six. From about 16, Thompson with the rebound. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. The lead is two. And right through it goes. And you can tell Thompson knows his role. He's out there to score. He, he loves to stay aggressive. The guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. That's in the best of Robinson. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Here's Thompson. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Now, here's Ball. He's guarded closely. Thompson outside.
Jacks up a three. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Not shy from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Smith the pass to Dotson. Here's Knox. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. I don't know if it's been the main factor, but his off night has definitely been one factor here. Trying to get open is Thompson. Ball with the bucket. Able to keep his balance even while getting hit. I mean, ball absorbs contact very well. New York calls timeout. And positionless Start. basketball. All the rage. And, and Kyle Kuzma really fits that mold. Is he a three? Is he a four? I don't know, but he gets buckets. Check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what David Fisdale said to the team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? And very light-footed is Guzma. Moves well for his side. You know, kind of a tweener in terms of Bill, but he has the ability to light up that scoreboard, something every team can use. Here's Ball, following the score by Dennis Smith. It's quiet, easygoing nature. That's what Ball brings. Uh, that's what makes him so likely. He's someone his team loves to play for, and they generally respect Shooting two. First free throw is good. And you look at Lonzo Ball, certainly high expectations for this young man. One and done at UCLA. How about second overall pick? That's brought some undue pressure. The Knicks making a switch here. Boudier is checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. James is checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And really, they've rebounded well all game long. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Here's Knox, guarded by Kuzma. And here's Boudier. Three-pointers off the mark. Greg, you talk about the hype for Lonzo Ball and the pressure. Do you think that creates an additional challenge for a young player? Yeah, he scuffled at times, but I think the future remains very bright for that young man. Dotson picks to Moody in. Pass to Knox. over LeBron. Knox misses. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. New York calls timeout. Yeah, and his shot selection, iffy at best tonight. A lot of forced contested shots this game. He'll be lucky if he just gets a talking to here instead of a, a ticket to the bench. chance to present our Jordan player of the game Clay Thompson and he's just been crushing it from the field tonight Kevin whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him 
He just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Now, here's Moutier from downtown. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Sweet little floater. And now a 10-point Los Angeles lead. And the ball handling moves of James are sensational. Effortlessly slicing through the D with his quickness. Out left to the wing. Knox the pass to Moutier. Launches it. Traps in the tray. Come on, man. You gotta have somebody keeping track of him. Moutier against Ball. Pass to Thompson. From about 19 feet. And Ellenson pulls it down. Knicks trail by seven. Here's Knox. The pass to Moutier. Here's Dotson. Over James. They grab their own miss. Robinson misses. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Thompson finds James. Out to Thompson. A three. He can't get it to go. Now the Knicks take it the other way. I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Uh, yeah, the game got away from them, but hopefully they've learned some things, and, and hopefully they'll be able to make some adjustments next time. And here's Los Angeles. Seven-point differential. So the Lakers take the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing that. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Olmos, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.